Strong Santa Ana winds whip across the county, leaving tens of thousands of homes and businesses with no power and shutting down several schools. Thanks for joining us. I'm Catherine Garcia. And I'm Mark Mullins. So this extremely dry air is heightening fire danger clearly, leaving a lot of San Diegans on edge. And we're basically in the middle of it. The red flag warning is in effect until Thursday evening. Let's check in with Dagmar with the latest. We will still be dealing with extremely dry conditions out there. The high wind warning will expire early at 3 p.m. Thursday, but the red flag warning will continue to remain in effect until 6 p.m. And as we head into the overnight hours for the next several days, expect freezingly cold temperatures, sub freezing, freeze warnings, hard freeze warnings, also air quality alerts up to our north. So our high wind warning expires Thursday, Halloween, 3 p.m. Again, the red flag warning continues until 6 p.m. We'll still be dry right around trick or treat time. Sunset is right around 6 p.m., 559. On average, the coastal will hit a high of about the low 70s, cooling off into the upper 60s by the time you get to that trick-or-treat hour. The inland valleys, you'll see the mid to the upper 70s, mountains mid 60s, deserts mid to upper 70s. Everybody feeling winds abating nicely as we head throughout the course of your Thursday will remain under dry conditions, though, so please keep that in mind. San Diegans are feeling the effects of these power outages. Many people in Campo, Del Zura, Otay Mesa, and Potrero are now in the dark. NBC 7's Rory Devine was in Potrero to see how residents and businesses are dealing with all of this. As you can see, they are trying to cope with having the power off. There's a generator outside and it's providing power. Rita's uh, doing a little bit of plugging things in down there because there's a lot of uh, refrigerators. Rory was inside the general store in Potrero. Generators seem to be a norm for people in that community. It, the chance of fire really does have them worried. Personally, I like the winds, but it's a little scary for the fires. It's been real windy. Yeah, sometimes it shakes. You built rock to have. Well, the power shutoffs have some school districts canceling classes for tomorrow. It includes all schools in the Julian Union High School District, Julian Union School District, Spencer Valley School District, and Vallecito School District. So is it happening in the Valley Center Palma Unified School District, Mountain Empire, and the Dehesa School Districts? A Solana Beach man has been sentenced to two months in prison in connection to that nationwide college admissions scandal. Jeffrey Bizak pleaded guilty in July to a single count of fraud and conspiracy. Bizak paid the ringleader of the scheme $250,000 to get his son into USC as a fake volleyball recruit. The Metropolitan Transit System showed off its new zero emission buses today. The 18-month pilot program will study their performance. MTS has fueled its fleet with compressed natural gas, but by November, riders could be getting around in one of the new battery powered buses. California has placed zero emission bus requirements on all transit agencies. The state's goal is to eliminate all greenhouse gas emissions from public transit fleets by 2040. So before taking your kids trick or treating this Halloween, it is a good time to see if any of your neighbors are registered sex offenders. The Megan's Law website search tool allows you to see where registered sex offenders live in your neighborhood and surrounding areas on a map. Information includes images of the sex offender, addresses, offenses, and a risk assessment. The site was created and named after seven-year-old Megan Kanka, who was raped and killed in 1994 by her New Jersey neighbor. Also be on the lookout for trick-or-treaters carrying blue buckets this Halloween. Blue is a color of autism awareness. So this Halloween, children with autism will be carrying blue buckets in many cases. It became a symbol after one mother had to explain at each house that her child with autism couldn't speak, but she wanted him to be part of the fun. Well, if you want to know what's going on in your neighborhood, you can like NBC San Diego on Facebook and get breaking news updates first. That'll do it for our nightly check-in here on the NBC7 app. Have a safe Halloween.